Jelly plate photo transferring is what we are working on today in this full process video, showing what papers, paints, and other tips to getting a great image to print. P will be showing you all of that and more. Stay tuned. Welcome to PM Artist Studio. I am Mariah, the M and PM. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell if you haven't. Now let's get started and join P. Hello everyone. Okay, I'm here today by request. I really, I, I, I hate doing videos and it'll probably show. <laughs> I, I, I suck at it. Uh, horrible. I'll stop with the apologizing. All right, so <laughs> I'm getting on with it. It's my voice in the back there. Sometimes I think it's coming from my head, but it's not. All right, first of all, I'm using a three inch jelly plate. I have it taped down, that's so I don't move it about and I'll be able to, uh, <laughs> you'll actually be able to see most of the video. I'll try to keep my hands out as much as possible. Sometimes I forget that. Okay, the big thing is the paper. And I've got two kinds here and I am going to go ahead and do a print with the rice paper just to show you the difference. Rice paper is wonderful for printing on, but not so much for photo transfers. This paper that I'll be using today is this one. Highly recommend this one. I've had very good results with this as far as actually making the print from the printer, but then going ahead and using it to pull the print later. And that's what I have cut up here. Three inch, three and a half inch square, something like that. Okay, so next thing as long as we're talking about printers you need to have an extremely high contrast photo got some here now I don't know about this one took it from a live I'm hoping it'll work I don't know there doesn't seem to be much contrast there I'm not sure the hair is gonna come out yada yada I could have spent more time on that actually in iPhoto Okay, here's, again, this is a little bit grainy. It's got some gray areas there that are probably not going to print well, but I, I love this shot of, of Izzy. She's, I think, getting close to a year old there. And this one you have seen in, in the uh, thing that I, I, I posted on gel printing. All right, here's one where this is a little bit of an experiment. I, I wanna see what happens with this where the light is just hitting her head. And then this one, of course. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Now, next thing, big deal, after the paper is the paint. And it's not so much your quality, the, the brand name of your paint, I mean, you can spend as much as you want to, but the big item here is this dude. Acrylic paint retarder used to slow drying time. Okay, I'm in Texas. It's dry here. I usually have a fan going in here because of whatever reason. No, I'm we upstairs. Have going, so that's why it's, yeah. It's, it's humid outside, but it's not in here. It's not in here. And that is a big issue. If you're in Florida with high humidity, this is probably not going to be an issue for you. Here, it really is. It's extremely dry. Okay, so then the retarder. I'm using today a deep violet, and it's a heavy body acrylic, and I left out, oh, okay. So this is not, this is golden, and I love this. This black paint is absolutely fabulous, but not so much for what we're doing today. You want something that has a lot of oomph to it to get some stuff up off the thing. And as you can see, I've had this one for a while. And um, I guess that I don't think there's any difference between high viscosity and heavy body. I think it's just terminology there. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody out there knows. Um, anyway, I just know this I is. I thought the high viscosity was more fluid. No, high viscosity is is um, like toothpaste. Okay, so <laughs> I'm not happy with this purple I want this purple to be darker purple because the darker colors are going to show up better on your jelly prints so let's just go ahead and get to it here here's my handy dandy now if you're going to keep these I recommend you know I 
this started out being the dark purple and then I mixed some white in it because I, I did some stenciling. But get a little jar so that you don't have to waste your paint if you have any left over. And uh, I never measure anything, so. You know, if you're into that sort of thing, this is the wrong place for you. <laughs> uh, okay, black. I just put enough out there that it's going to make, and that's probably too much, but oh well. We want it to lean towards the darker end of things. This is a little lighter violet, um, just as, I don't know, a little more oomphy doomphy to the whole process and kind of counteracts that other violet in there that's like probably older than, well, definitely older than my granddaughter. I really don't have any. I brought it from Alaska, so who knows. Alrighty, then we take our trusty little recycled corn dog stick. <laughs> now y'all wanted to know that. Oops. Okay, this is the biggie. I can't tell you how much of this to add. I put a squirt in there. You know, are we? Or can we see this? That sort of kind of equals the... But you can see why you need to have this. You need stiff paint. You need that heavy body, vis high viscosity paint. And the reason this retarder stuff is absolutely wonderful is the matte mediums are going to dilute your, your color. This doesn't. Your color is going to remain exactly the same. And I, I should say, you know, if you really, you know, you can buy expensive, heavy body, golden, they're called open. That means they take longer to dry. If you want to spend the money, you just go right ahead. But this stuff, cheap, works great. Okay. And now, see that? It's not dripping off. You, if it's dripping off, it, it probably is not going to work all that well. So you're mixing it into the paint rather than mixing it on. I am mixing it into the paint rather than on the... Thank you, Mariah. I tried it the other way, and what happens is it just it leaves skid marks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like there's no color there where you put the retarder. So you got to mix it in with the paint if you want to get some good results here. All right. And basically, you're going to learn after a while how much of this stuff you need to put on. And you don't need a lot. Now, I do have my brayer off paper here, just in case. But I think the other thing that I would say, if you are not having good luck with this, start with this tiny little thing rather than a huge jelly plate. You can control all of your variables a lot better here. Okay, I'm liking that. Now I'm going to take just a whisk of it off. You take off too much, you're not going to get a good plate. You're not going to get a good print. Uh, how long do you leave this on? That's a good question. Uh, I don't know. You can kind of pick it up and see if it's doing something. I just printed these this morning. I don't know if fresh ink is better than old ink. Who knows? All right, you can see we got some stuff going on there. I'm loving it. Voila. Okay, now see the streaky stuff going on here? That's because of inferior brayering. I, I don't know how else, how else to put it. Uh, yeah, take a little more time to get that smoothed out. But you can see, look at that. That is absolutely fabuloso. Don't throw these away. Save these. You can use these for collage. I have a whole idea on how I'm going to use them in a, in a book. And Oh, hush. Something, something. Hush, hush, hush. Okay, so let's let's try to pull another. Now the other thing is, is I want to. I'm a terrible person. My I should show you my other jelly plate. It's absolutely disgusting. It, you know, 
it's only like two months old and it looks like it's a hundred years old. But you want to get off the extra stuff because you don't want to be pulling this on your next hoopty doo. Hoopty doo. Hoopty doo. All right. Now, did you notice how little of that I put on there? And I actually had to brayer a little bit off. So let's see if we can get a little more. And when I'm printing my on my printer, not here, printing. Okay, can you see some stuff that's going on there, the messy stuff? Okay, you need to be a little more careful about that. And I'm a little heavy-handed with my brayer. Let's see if we can get a better one. You know, you don't want to lollygag on these things. You want to get that paper on there. Because again, you've got to have that paint moist. You don't want it sloppy wet. You don't want it ushing all over. You do definitely do not want to use. Want it tacky. Tacky, that's a good word for you. All right, I'm loving that now. You see? Look at that beautiful baby. Oh my God, she's just so fabulous. <laughs> As you can tell, we're very much into it. <laughs> yes, we are. We are. <laughs> All right, I think we got a good one on that. Now you noticed I printed three of each one. The reason is, is because chances are the first one you get is not gonna be fabuloso. I don't know if this is going to work simply because it's kind of dark, it's kind of grimy looking, but let's try it. Nothing, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Absolutely. Take chances, get messy, make mistakes. Love, Miss Frizzle. <laughs> well, you're getting some good ones today. <laughs> Well, the reason that we are able to do this is because Izzy's At the park. Popsy has taken her to the park for a play date with her little friend, Aiden. All right, now that's a little dark, but I'm hesitant. I don't know. I'm going to try it. Take a little bit more off in this damn street. goes. You will pull some prints that are not successful. I promise you. I, I should have kept mine out. It worked. But uh, again, they're they're great. I'm going to use them for something else. Eventually. They got paint on them. <laughs> They've got paint on them. Well, I can see your sweet little eyes there. Some weird stuff going on up there in the corner. You notice how I kind of lift it up and peek, see if, see if it's pulling it, and it is pulling it. Oh, yeah. All right, that's, you know, I mean, if you wanted something that was a super facsimile, that might not be the one that you'd choose, but I think it's really, really nice. Check it out, Mariah. Oh. All right, let's try this sweet little face here. High contrast. I know this is going to work here simply because I can I've I've done it. Alright. You can see how you know little paint that you actually need on here. And I mean I, I don't know about you, but I just try to All right, now I can tell you right now what's happening is that plate is getting dry. But we're gonna see if it works. I'm 
rub it around, rub, 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 all, make sure you get all those corners. Gently lift up your edge there to see if you're getting something off. And not very much, okay. So I can tell you right now what the problem is. I'm not even gonna pull a print because it's not gonna be worth it. And you see this? See the difference between this and this? This is what you need. When it comes off and you can still see that, not it's not you're not gonna get a print. Now I can go ahead and I don't know. It's probably too late. We're wiping that one off to start over. Alright, so mixy mixy mixy. Use a little bit more paint. Always brayer that stuff off. But I was watching a video one day, and I, I wished I, I knew who who it was. And she said, "Ah, my plate is finally at the sweet spot." All right, that means you've got enough moisture on your plate that you're able to get good stuff going on as far as that pulling it. And I'm thinking that's going to be just perfect. Okay. And at this point, you don't want to lollygag. We're going to get that on there right away because that's probably... It's really difficult. The reason I hate these videos is because when I'm into it, I, I really... I, my brain just needs to focus on what I'm doing, not what's coming out of my mouth. So, I do. And I wasn't going to voice over this. Guys, yeah, okay. Got some weird lines going on there. That could be due to my heavy handed brayering. All right, now we've got, we've got an image going there, but I am I am certainly not happy with it by any means. Um, but you can still see it is a face. I probably that's not going to be my go-to. Let's try. I just I love that one, but I've got many of those, so let's try this one. Good contrast. Maybe some gray areas there that I'd rather not have. I didn't clean that plate. I hope I'm not. Sorry, I didn't do that. Get the squishy stuff all over. Now, that's way too much. Way too much. But we're moistening up the plate. That's what. Simply lovely. I don't know, maybe Mariah can put in some. Really? She hates piano music. I love piano yeah, music. I'm I'm so you'll probably it. get some. I don't know. Horrible. Oh my god. Now, okay. Yeah, this is what we've been waiting for. Look at those that little face there. Alright, well now see, I didn't have much left on there. I'm not going to mess with pulling anything off. The reason I'm doing many of these is because I can't tell you how many videos I have watched 
and I've watched them over and over and over and over just so I can get to the point of where I am right now. You're giving some people some serious watch time. I have. And I apologize I did not comment every time. Hey, and if you're finding value in this video, please do subscribe. <laughs> the little thing over in the corner. We do this each week. Here we go. And I just, you know, somebody mentioned, and the reason I, I'm doing this is because I, I, this is creating a memory. This is creating a keepsake forever and ever and ever. Because I can totally do this in Photoshop. Because my daughter can totally do this in Photoshop. <laughs> it's just true. She can. But the thing about it is, well, number one, this is acrylic paint. This is like light fast, blah, 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 whatever you want to call it. It will be here along with the cockroaches if we have nuclear meltdown. Is that not absolutely lovely? And this is the other reason I did Please this. Please don't come to our channel for scientific. <laughs> okay. Now, can you see? This, this photo is going to make this transfer. All right. Now, what do we have? One more. We should have just gone live with this. Oh, we should have gone live with this. All right. All right. I forgot this one. Oh, my God. Is this not so cute? All righty. And I'm yakking away and my plate's drying out. <laughs> okay. We'll just give it a little extra oomph here. Way too much paint. Way, 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 way. But for photo transfers, if you're going to air to the whatever. Go too much. Yeah. Because what it is, it's just kind of, it's kind of like, you know, moisturizer. Just pretend like you've been in the desert all day need to moisturize your plate and you know I, I I wished I could remember the video that I watched that this woman was talking to me about this maybe you can go back and we'll put it in the description below yeah I'll, I'll see if I can find it because it was spot on it was really really what you know we found value in it we found value in it and I, I you know I, I I should write this stuff down because I tell her to. She does. I'm probably annoying like the bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit you are. But this this is what I'm talking about here. Hey, and comment below if you would like us to do a live session of this, we could. Like maybe that's the first live thing that we do. But so comment below. You can see the kind of photograph that you need here to get a print. All right, let's go ahead and do one more. Because then people can ask questions and stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you can ask questions below. I, I do try to answer them. Don't get excited if it doesn't happen, like, immediately, because, as I said, you know, these photos of all of these dar this darling child here. Well, when she's present, oh, let me tell you what, she loves brayering. She thinks that's the shiz, shiznit. Gigi, I need, do we need me to do the roller? And you don't want to discourage her, and I want her to be, you know, artistic and all that good stuff. But sometimes I'd really just like her to stay at the park a little longer. <laughs> Does that sound terrible? Hey, you're talking to her mother, so that's not <laughs> no. Yeah.
And the other thing that I think makes a difference, I, I'm not sure about that, is the freshness of your, there's somebody that knows out there, you know, please let me know that, because I just printed these off this morning and I really, I had no idea I was going to do this video, but I had so many people and I kept, you know, saying the same thing over and over again. And looky there. So, you know, if it's not beautiful and fabulous the first time, just keep on printing. Okay, I want to do one more of those because I think those are adorable. And I want to do this one. Let's see if I can't get a little better on that one. And the other thing is, I this little the reason I'm using the three-inch plate is because this is going to become a little sort of a, accordion accordion printed booklet um, that I'm going to use a new technique of creating a series of three quad folds. Okay, now see when I picked that up, I noticed there's still a little bit, it's not, it's not pulling off. Sometimes I grab two papers. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. I mean, you even get the little shiny parts of the hair, so I think that that's, that's really remarkable. Okay. All right. Thank you all, and appreciate all of your comments, and I can't express enough. I mean, I'm almost in tears saying this. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't still be doing this if it weren't for you all. Thank you. And as always, please like this video if you haven't. Leave us a comment below. We love those. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell. We do this each week. Thank you again for watching. Bye.